Hey guys and welcome back to another showcase of this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So this month we've got five amazing free assets once again, these being a bicycle with animations, bridges, contemporary restaurant, Greenwood Fantasy Village and Journeyman's Minimap. All of these once again look absolutely amazing so let's get right into them and have a look at them all. So first up we've got the bicycle with animations and this is a city bicycle 3D model rigged and animated along with mannequin animations. So this is rigged to the Episkeleton as you can see in the preview video here. There are 11 animations, all of which are in place. There are 6 different materials and material instances with 16 textures, all of which being 4K. And again, I think this looks absolutely brilliant, so you can obviously use this anywhere you want. If you have the bike model, which you don't even need to ride, you can just have this kind of locked up somewhere in the map. Or obviously have either the player riding it or an AI, an NPC going past. But I think this looks absolutely fantastic. Something nice and simple to start us off. Next up we've got bridges. Now this allows you to easily create bridges with settings to modify the length of the bridge and the depth of the concrete pillars. So just drag the blueprint to level and the bridge will be built with the possibilities of switching between three forms of bridges and adjusting the length of the bridge and the length of the concrete pillars as well. So there are two blueprints containing six forms of different bridges. So again two blueprints to switch between the six shapes of the bridges. You can modify the length of the road and the depth of the concrete pillars. Bridge replication is available in the second blueprint and there is a smart UV which is an easy integration of textures with each other. The texture sizes range from 1k all the way up to 4k and there is custom collision applied to the bridges as well. There are no LODs however but there are 141 meshes, 13 materials and material instances and 14 textures. So again this is fairly low poly style so it's not kind of a realistic style that you might want to go for but these do look absolutely great so there's also one which looks a bit like a railway bridge which you might want to use and lots of different suspension bridges in here so again this might look perfect for your game and if so definitely go ahead and use this as again i think this is great looks perfect and allows you to as it say easily create your own custom bridges within the game nice and quickly and now we've got contemporary restaurant and this is a restaurant with modern design so this is an interior space of a modern restaurant. All furnitures are ready to use in your own restaurant project. All props are carefully UV unwrapped and the project can be controlled by the gamepad. And there's two maps available in this project which contains different sets of material combinations just to give you different ideas of how this could be laid out for your own fitting. Now this is obviously going to be modular so you can have this pack and create your own restaurant which looks completely different to the ones you see on screen now and that way everyone can also have the same pack and create something which looks very different. So it features fully customizable material templates to allow you to easily generate your own instance materials. There's practical restaurant furniture sets are ready to use. It's ready to play with your gamepad as well and the props are obviously not scaled to the epic skeleton. The texture sizes range from 128 by 128 all the way up to 4k and there is collision automatically generated on these props as well. There are however no LODs but there is 29 different meshes, 48 materials and material instances, and 26 textures. So as I said in pretty much every one of these videos, I really do love modular stuff. Now this doesn't actually advertise itself as modular, but it kind of is with all the different props that you're gonna get within this. And again, you can obviously use this absolutely anywhere you want within your project and even in different projects. So some of this stuff doesn't even have to be restaurant specific. It can honestly be used absolutely anywhere you like. Next up it is the Greenwood Fantasy Village. Now this is a modular flexible set of stylized 3D models, materials and particles in a cute fairy tale style. This package includes modular landscapes and over 100 objects for populating the world. It's not only a village, it's a little or even big world. All models are very well optimized and have very low triangle counts and shared atlas textures. So it's able to use for mobile projects as well if that's what you wanted. So its main features are it includes mobile friendly models, it's got a modular landscape, it's got one over 100 unique objects besides the landscape modules, so that doesn't even include those. It's got a completely customizable house colors, two pre-built demo scenes for both day and night, just to give you an idea of what it could look like and also give some inspiration. And it's also good for both the top down view and for third person or first person. So again, you can really use this in any style of game which you want to make. So the texture sizes for this range from 512 by 512 to 2k and it does have automatically generated collision. The triangle counts are up to 3600 per object which is very good and this also does include LODs. This has 146 meshes, 
18 master materials and 44 instances with 76 textures including albedo, normal map, roughness, metallic and colour mask. So its intended platforms are PC, console and mobile, however it's only been tested on PC. But I think this one looks absolutely fantastic and it sounds like it's really well optimised as well from what they've said and the description they've given. So I think this one would work really well for again any kind of game you want to make, no matter the genre or where it needs to be and as they've said as well it doesn't even have to just be a village and it could be in any perspective that you want to create it in as well. So once again I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. And finally last but not least it is Journeyman's minimap and this is a flexible optimised minimap and fog of war system. Add a stylish boardless or boarded minimap to your game and hook up your own gameplay driven animations. Enable Fog of War for limited vision and all features are multiplayer ready. So as I said with the previous one, this looks absolutely fantastic and really well optimised and looks like it has a lot of different stuff in here for you to use. So the technical details of the map are you can control the size manually or automatically via the UMG. You've got a rectangular, circular, boarded, borderless and transparent versions. You can create backgrounds by drawing over generated images with a nav mesh. You can centre the map on an area or actor control zoom levels and rotations to show the player's views as a trapezoid. It supports automatic texture switching based on height, i.e. for a multi-floor building, so it's only going to show the floor the player is currently on, not just the roof, or even priority, i.e. indoor volume. And it fires UI interaction events as well. Now some details for the icons are all the properties are changeable in-game. You can give an actor an icon by attaching an icon component onto it. You can customise its texture and material. The material instances are accessible for gameplay driven animations as well as having flash, pulse and clock animations included. You can control the icon size in the screen space or world space. You can customise the rotation, draw colour and Z order. You can show an arrow when the icon is off the map to actually show the player where to go to get that icon which could be highlighting anything you want. And for the fog of war which is a really cool feature they've added in is you can add the fog of war to the main map and world. Actors can reveal areas temporarily or permanently and actors and their icons can be hidden when inside fog. And all these features are in Blueprints and C++. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this is network replicated. So again, I think this one's fantastic. There is a lot of stuff in this for you to get for free, and it looks like it's very intuitive and very easy to use and to learn and to really advance upon in your game just to give it that extra something which makes it feel and look a lot nicer. So this isn't only just a minimap, but you can also expand it into a proper bigger map as well for the player to look at with icon systems on here, exploration and different styles for the map as well and so much more as I've just gone through. So again, this is great. So I think that'll be it for this video on this month's monthly free assets for March 2022. We've got five amazing free assets once again and I absolutely love all of them. I've obviously downloaded them all and I think my favourite this time around is probably going to be Journeyman's minimap or if not that it would probably be the Greenwood Fantasy Village. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is. Again, for me, it'll probably be the Journeyman's minimap, just because I think I'll get more use out of that one. So I hope you did enjoy this video and found it helpful of me just going through all the different items that you can get for free this month and just highlighting them, giving my opinion, and just showing them off a bit. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.